Yeah. Yeah. Hello beautiful people, I'm back again with another video. Today we're doing the 0 to 100 challenge where I go from looking like this to this. If you want to see how I achieve this look, I will explain every step, so just keep on watching. Alright, so before I begin, I moisturize my face and lips. So this is what I use to moisturize my lips. It's Neutrogena Norwegian Formula, and it has SPF 15 in it. It's definitely the best chapstick I've ever used in my entire life. Better than Burt's Bees or literally any chapstick. I can't live without it. And to moisturize my face, I use Rose Hip Seed Oil. It's just a serum that you drop onto your face. I just like it because it's natural and no, no, it smells great. I just put a drop. You can also put this on your lips too. I do sometimes, but today I'm not going to because I have my chips. Next, I prime my face with NYX Angel Veil. Now that my primer's on, I'm going to use the Pore Professional by Benefit. And I'm just going to apply that in the places in my face that get a little bit oily, which is a little on my forehead, around my nose, on my nose, and on my chin. This is just an oil blotting stick, so you can put it on before your foundation. Or if you're getting a little bit oily throughout the day, you can put it on even after. It'll just kind of matte over that oil on your face. So next I want to do foundation. I use the Tarte Shape Tape foundation. I know a lot of people use the concealer, but... I love this foundation and I have the hydrating one. It just has a very smooth finish and it's just a good quality foundation and it's buildable without getting kicky, which is really nice. And I love this applicator, it makes it a lot easier. I used to dump a little foundation on my hand as like a little palette, but no And I'm gonna use this Sephora Pro Airbrush to put on my foundation. I'm just going to use a stippling motion instead of any kind of rubbing motion because then it won't be streaky. Next, I'm going to use NYX HD Studio Photogenic. It's a finishing powder and I'm just going to apply it under my eyes just to set the foundation. And I'm just going to use a fluffy brush to apply it. I know usually people use sponges but I don't really use a sponge though. So. Now onto brows, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade in the color Ash Brown. And I want to be applying that with this Sephora eyebrow brush. It doesn't have a name on it, but it's from Sephora. So what I do is I start in the middle of my brow at the top and I just try to define my brow first and then after I will fill it in. And I'm going to be looking off camera to do my brows because it would be very hard to do it. And then I do the start of my brows last, just to create fine hair-like strokes. Just so the beginning of the brow is like a feathered look, and then the end of the brow, the tail, is more bold. Now I'm just going to take some eyebrow mousse and put it on my eyebrows just to keep the hairs in place. This mousse is by the company Blink and it is in the color medium blonde. Now for eyes, I'm going to be using Blink eyebrow primer. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going for sort of a burnt orange look on my eyes so I'm going to begin with the color burnt orange and I'm going to be using a fluffy brush and I'm just going to be going lightly over my entire lid. It 
and you always want to tap your brush before you apply your eyeshadow because if you don't then the excess pigment is going to fall all over your face on your foundation. Next I'm going to be using a color from this Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette and I'm going to be using this color. I'm just going to put this in the crease of my eyelid using the same brush. Next, I'm going to be taking another color from this Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. I'm going to be taking a little bit of this. And I'm going to be applying this to the outer corner of my lid. Now, I'm going to be taking a smaller brush and going back to the Anastasia palette. I'm going to be using Cypress Umber, which is... And I just want to put this in the corner just to bolden the eye. And then lastly, I'm going to be using Warm Taupe. And I'm just going to use it to blend out the edges so that the edges aren't harsh. And I'm going to be doing this with a very fluffy brush. And then real gar on the lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna be doing my winged eyeliner with this liquid eyeliner by Fenty Beauty. The trick is to have the eyeliner thinner on the inner corner of your eye, and then as you get out to the outer corner of your eye, you make the eyeliner thicker and accentuate the line. Now onto the rest of my face. I use Hula by Benefit and I will be using this angled brush. Now I'm gonna be using Too Faced Natural Face in the shade Pink Squad. And I'm gonna be using an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush a23, so the feathery highlight brush, but I use it for my blush as well. And you just want to apply it in very light circular motions. Now that the serum is in, I can begin to curl my hair. So I'm gonna part my hair in two sections and I'm going to tie up the top half of my head. I know this looks silly, but you don't wanna have hairs from the top of your head and from the bottom of your head in the same curl because then it's gonna look silly. And you want to leave it stringy like this at first because you want the curls to hold but once they've been in your hair for a while then you can brush it all out at the end then once you're done with the bottom half then you can put the top half down and do that part now I'm just gonna brush up my hair and change my clothes and then we will have the finished product. So guys, this is the finished look after hair, makeup, and everything. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this 0 to 100 transformation. It was a lot of fun for me to do. I was going for something really dramatic because it's a 0 to 100 challenge. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this kind of video and if you want me to do more videos like this. And also, if you have any questions about Anything that I did in this video, just leave it in the comments and I will get back to you on anything that I didn't answer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope to see you in my next video.